What's going on YouTube? So Kenny here again with another video. And so this video is about how to adjust the temperature or thermostat on your attic fan if you have one. So stay tuned. Thanks for checking out this video. So recently, you know, as the weather has been getting hot, summertime, all about the heat, I have been paying a little bit more attention to the attic fans that I have in the attic. And so I noticed maybe a couple of days ago, the attic fan was running till maybe about nine, 10 o'clock at night, which is very late. Now I will admit that the temperature got into the lower nineties. Um, but the fact that it runs that late indicates, in my opinion, a lot. Um, one, it indicates a higher power bill because of the fan using the electricity to cool off the attic. And two, that the thermostat setting for the fan may not be where it probably should be. So after doing a little bit of research, I found out that, you know, given where I live, and the possibility of the temperature getting into the 100s in the hottest part of the summer, that the attic fan probably needs to be set about 110 or 120 degrees. So I'm gonna go up and actually check this one. And the reason why I know this one is probably not set at that point is because of the fact I recently had it the motor on the fan replaced maybe about a year and a half to two years ago. And so when the guy that replaced it did the replacement, he lowered the thermostat temperature to probably like 95, which makes no sense because at the hottest part of the day in like maybe July or August, it can be almost 100, maybe even 105. So that means the attic fan would probably run for 12 to 16 hours in a given day, which is a lot. So I'm going to go up in the attic and I'm going to show you how to adjust the setting on your attic fan. All right, so I am in my attic. As you see, here's the attic fan. It is nighttime as I'm recording this, so I would recommend that if you do choose to make this adjustment and to go into your attic to do this at night or at least on a rainy day, if it's during the winter season, that would be even better. And so looking at the setting, as you see, this one has some recommended marks and I'm actually turning the camera, so it looks straight on camera. And so as you see, 95 is the setting. Uh, mark here was where it originally set. And so each of these lines, I believe, represents five degrees. So the recommended setting is around there about 100 or so. And it's actually a little bit advanced of that setting. And so as you see, there is a screwdriver there. Um, a uh, Philip flathead screwdriver. There's others that may be Phillips. So I'm actually gonna move this a little bit further. Uh, I'm not gonna move it all the way to 120, but maybe about the 110 range. And that way it doesn't run as long uh, for a given day. So yeah, between 110 and 120 right there. So, and you have to remember that, you know, if you really wanted this, like if you lived in a colder climate, you could actually turn this down to a lower temp. And so as you see, I turned it below 95 or so, and it actually kicked on. So uh, given, you know, like I said, I live down in the South and, you know, the very close, maybe two to three hours within the coast. So hopefully this video has helped you, you know, if you need to make an adjustment to your attic fan, that you have the insight to be able to go and do this now. Again, as I recommended, please try to do this at night or when the weather is very cool or when it's rainy out so you don't go into a very hot attic and, you know, pass out due to heat exhaustion. So if you have any questions about how to adjust your attic fan, you know, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. And in the meantime, see you in the next video.